sounds a little mean there, Jay. It's all right. What up, tubes? JT from the future here. We had the MXP Comp RS exhaust on the BRZ, and right now, thought it would be a good time to do a little review on the exhaust. Uh, it's been on for, I wanna say, maybe a month now or so, uh, if not a little bit longer, I would say about a month. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do a little review on it, see how we like it. Right now we are on the way to the tattoo shop to get tatted up. And uh, yeah, thought now would be a good time as any to get her done. When it comes to appearance with the MXP Comp RS exhaust, uh, I would say it is a pretty nice looking exhaust. I like the little uh, plate they have on it with MXP Comp. Um, it's, you know, it's pretty nice looking exhaust. I'd say where it mostly shines is the slanted tips. I really do like the slanted tips on this exhaust and that's one of the things that sold me on it besides the price point and the sound. I wanna say they're pretty aggressive the way they are. Um, slanted chrome tips, pretty neat. The MXP Comp RS exhaust does come with black tips. If you wanna go with black tips, if you have a black car, uh, white car, whatever. Um, you could go with black tips. Black tips do look pretty neat, but um, because I got this one used, it came with these tips. So yeah, could always swap them out, but I like how it is the way it is. When it comes to the price point of the MXP Comp RS exhaust, um, online you could find the exhaust at about 545, something like that. Uh, that's the lowest I found it, new. They could go up to 600. I think I saw like 650 up there. Uh, however, for a cat back such as this one, if you do like the sound of the MXP Comp, then 600, 700, you know, that might be the way for you. However, whoa, dude, that's crazy. How the heck do you get over here? We're gonna roll the window down. It's getting a little hot in here. But for that price point, there are different options that are made specifically for the Gen 2 BRZ. This MXP Comp R RS exhaust is from the Gen 1 BRZ. It does fit up to the Gen 2, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, you know, there's Tomei, there's AWE, there's like HKS and whatnot. There's just some other higher grade exhausts. Five, 550, I feel like 545, whatever uh, was the lowest. That is, that's the most, I, you know, that's the most uh, I would spend for the MXP Comp. Um, I did find this one used, so I would recommend to look on Marketplace. Woo. I would recommend to look on Marketplace for a used exhaust most of the time, unless you really plan on keeping it for a while, then you know obviously you can invest in brand new. But um, this was an entry level exhaust for me, so I decided you know 250 is is that's pretty reasonable for this. Um, it was fairly new. As you guys saw, it doesn't necessarily have a lot of rust. It was on a car, a uh, secondary BRZ, for a very uh, short period of time. So I felt like, you know, this is a, I'm not gonna say it was a steal, but it, it it fit my needs. So I was like, you know what, this is a pretty, this is a, this is a good deal for me, that's it. So appearance, I would say, exhaust looks kinda neat. I would, the, the tips, hell yeah, dude. Good tips, nice tips, looks good. I like the little plates and whatnot. And it comes with black tips. Next up is the install. How difficult is the install? When it comes to the install, there's nothing too difficult. It's not like a Tomei exhaust. We have the big clamps. You know, if you're not familiar with that, um, you don't have to worry about it because the MXP Comp RS exhaust is a very, very easy install. You got the two uh, spring bolts down by the mid pipe. And then you have the muffler hangers. So it's not difficult whatsoever. It's a pretty simple install when you're throwing on the tips. I chose to line the tips up with my bumper. So, you know, you could go further out, but um, I didn't want to do that because that thing looks sacky, dude. But anyways, so here's the thing. If you're on the highway, which we're about to get on a longer road soon, when you're on the highway in fifth gear, this thing, I mean, honestly, it's a little too quiet for me. It's a little too quiet. And that's just for me. Uh, when you're going around town, you know, if you step on it, whatever you are it definitely has a little uh it's a modest exhaust i'll say that it's a very 
it's a modest exhaust but when you're on the highway you barely hear this thing and you know a, a lot of people might like that they like the little modest tone it has a little rasp to it uh and it sounds you know something like it should have came from factory but um on the highway i mean you're chilling dude you don't gotta worry about it but if we uh you know So that's, I mean, nothing too crazy. Um, you know, about 4K RPMs. I don't really see how fast we got up to there. But I would say, you know, from inside with the windows up, I, you know, it's not bad whatsoever, dude. It's not bad whatsoever. It's very, it's a very modest tone. And I feel like a lot of people are, are looking for more so a modest tone, not to be super rowdy. Um, and also not to have, you know, pay an arm and a leg for something that's gonna sound, you know, I don't know, something like it should have came from from the factory um but i you know there's i can't really think of anything else that might sound worse than this and not to say worse but you know less worth is a better word um something that i i don't necessarily enjoy is an axle back so when it comes to an axle back um the prices of axle backs are they, they kind of creep up to the range of something like this, an MXB Comp RS exhaust, cat back, mind you. So you're getting you're getting a whole cat back um, for a similar price of an axle back. Like if you look at axle back prices, yes, they might be a little bit cheaper, but you know, if you look for a little bit, you can find one on Marketplace, do 250. I mean, you know, not saying you're gonna get something like this for 250, but even 300 or 350, um, I feel like that's a way better deal than paying full price for an axle back. You're getting more of an exhaust with a cat back, so I, I don't know. I feel like there's no point in going with an axle back if you could get something like this that, you know, it sounds better. And uh, I'd say that's that's literally it. Um, I'm not going to say an axle back, so uh, they look better because they come with some pretty cool tips. But when it comes to an exhaust, you might as well just go with the cat back. If you're not going to go with a full exhaust, headers and whatnot, why do an axle back, you know? Um, just go with the whole exhaust, but I mean, sorry, just go with the cat back. So in terms of sound, we went over the basically non-existent drone. Um, I actually, I've, I, there's like barely any drone on this, missed that turn, there it is. Um, barely any drone, um, I've definitely been in cars with worse drone. Um, so this is definitely, definitely, I want to say anything. When I first installed this, no headaches. Um, you know, it's it's. I'm not even gonna say it's bearable because there's nothing really to it. I would say maybe. I I mean, not even. I like <coughs> voice crack. <coughs> I'm a little sick. <coughs> Sorry. I, whew, I'm a little ill. Some might say the illest. <laughs> All right, guys. So. Carrying on the sound. Honestly, it is. It's a it, like I said before. Like I did say, the it has a very modest tone. It's nothing too crazy. Um, if you're an older folk, uh, this is. I mean, it's pretty fitting. You might want to go with something a little less. You know, you're gonna be like, oh, it's a little too, you know, a little too loud for me. But I, I mean, it's okay. It's okay. I, I would say if you want a little more, uh, a little more something, like like I said, I feel like maybe it shouldn't have come with something like this from the factory, but something close to it, because it's not. I mean, it's not too loud. We'll uh, we'll get it on it in a in a minute here. That's the thing is, you're kind of you're kind of hearing the motor if you think about it, like. It, you're not it's not super loud it's not like a, a tome it's not even like the awe this is really uh, a light exhaust if you think about it you're just bringing up the three um you know it's not anything crazy let's say so the one thing i probably do want to point out uh, of course with exhaust is the cold start so this one is okay I want to say it's terrible um, it depends on your living situation your neighbors most definitely but I've yet to receive any complaints so we are bing chilling dude we are bing chilling
So, just up the 4,000 RPM, I mean, it's not rowdy whatsoever, dude. You know, in a in kind of, that was a busy area right there. And I feel like it didn't, you know, cause too much attention uh, to many people to be like, oh, dude, that, that thing's too loud, dude, what are you doing? Um, but yeah, I like I said, most definitely a minus exhaust. Let's say you're looking to get this exhaust and you want to see how much it pops and bangs because that's what you want you want the pops you want the bangs you want the popcorn when it does come to making the pops and the bangs this exhaust likes to pop and bang around when you downshift from two uh you downshift three around there once you get in the higher rpms and you downshift not necessarily however if you do decide to hoon which i do not condone but if you are hooning um and you are getting the revs up there this thing does pop when you get up in the revs not just downshifting but when you get up in the revs if you you know give it a couple of blips on the throttle up in the revs you do get a pretty uh you get some you get some pretty neat pops pretty neat bangs so as you saw there from six to five not nothing too crazy uh it's kind of in the lower gears too i've noticed you could probably get it to pop bang in higher gears um but the thing is with this exhaust that I've noticed and probably every other exhaust is you kind of have to learn the exhaust, what it likes to, you know, how, where it likes to pop bang, um, where it sounds best because it's not like, you know, oh, do this and this will happen. Um, like right there, you have a very small pop and bang, something like that. That's not anything too bad. You had a little, had a little bass to it. Yeah, so you have something small, small pop and bang. But in a minute here, we're gonna try to open her up a little bit, see if we get some loud boys going on. Just to show you guys, because when this thing pops and bangs, when it gets when it gets the loud boys going on, I'm like, oh man, that makes me love this exhaust. So here we're just cruising, a uh, little cruising speeds, 44 miles per hour, fourth gear, um, up at 3K RPM. Not crazy at all, dude. This is very, very modest, honestly. Maybe there's like 10% of me that's like, all right, dude, time to, time to go Tome. Time to go Tome is way too quiet. But like I said, 10%. Uh, other percent is like, yeah, dude, modest exhaust, cool exhaust. Leave it, don't touch it. So that's what we're gonna do right now is we're just gonna leave it, enjoy the exhaust for where it is. Maybe in the future, we will throw a nice sing legs of Tome and blow ears out. But for now, we have a nice modest exhaust going on. Yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of pops and bangs to it. Nothing too crazy, for sure. Um, but let's say you're getting on it. That's definitely how it should have came from the factory. It, it's a very modest tone to it, and, and that's it. I think at least it's a modest tone. I tell you guys, you get on it a little bit, then that's when you get the big boys coming out. So, as you guys could hear, uh, a little bit of more aggressive driving and you will get those either single loud pops uh, or louder pops, or you'll get the rapid fire uh, with a little more aggressive driving. If you're doing some uh, Sunday driving, then you'll get here and there. Sometimes you get the loud bangs, so it's kind of, you know, I don't know, you really have to get a feel for the exhaust. Sometimes it's random, sometimes you kind of time it. Um, or you could also kind of make it more quiet, you know, depending on your driving style. 
So overall, I'd say final thoughts with the MXP Comp RS exhaust is I'll give it probably, I would say an eight out of 10 good budget exhaust for sure 100 percent good budget exhaust uh for if you can find a used one for around maybe 250 300 um maybe 350 the roof uh, marketplace without paying that msrp price on this exhaust i'd say you're in really good shape that is totally that's that's great dude you get a you get a really nice budget cat back exhaust i'm an axle bag dude you get a really nice exhaust i gotta drive dude there's a guy behind me um, it's not only for the young lads, um, but I feel like you get away with it if you're a little bit older and you want something that's, let's say, more modest. Like I've said 20 times in this video, it's a nice modest exhaust for sure. Modest exhaust for sure. 100% dude. Um, so yeah, I want to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I hope I helped you decide whether or not you want an MXP Comp RS exhaust. I definitely do believe this is a nice uh, this is, if not the best, perfect uh, budget entry level exhaust to the second gen BRZ. Um, even the first gen BRZ, it's a nice, fairly priced. Um, if you do want to pay MSRP price, then it's not terrible either. Um, you're getting a little bit up there, but I'd say 540, you know, for a brand new exhaust, you know, a modest tone like this, you know, it's a fairly decent price. So without any further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give a like down below. It really does go a long way. And while you're down there, you can consider subscribing. That also goes a long way. It shows me that you guys like what I'm doing here. Um, and that really means a lot. I want to thank you guys for all the support recently. Um, that also goes a long way and it means a lot. But other than that, I'm going to go get tatted up and uh, see if I can get rid of this illness. Just kidding. Illist. Hey, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. to find in this this area right here to be honest also my my forehead is killing me from this gopro it's pulling my forehead off hey guys hey youtube it's your boy it's your boy youtube hey tubes how are you hey tubies hey tubies all right guys uh 